I'm a liar and I'm lying to you right now. But if I'm a liar, how do you know if I'm telling the truth? Well, you might try hooking me up to a polygraph or lie detector. It's essentially a collection of doctor's instruments. When you lie, the pulse quickens, you breathe faster and you start to perspire. The ultra-sensitive polygraph maps those changes. Any significant peaks spell out stress and a possible porky pie. In this country, there are only five regular polygraph operators. In fact, worldwide, there are only four companies that make them. They're incredibly expensive and sophisticated gadgets. Just the kind of challenge I like. So here's the gadget shows polygraph for a pound. Lying causes stress. Stress causes sweat. And that's where my design for a lie detector comes in. Salt water is a better conductor of electricity than skin. So if you're connected to a circuit and then perspire, it should allow more current to flow around. That's what we're gonna measure. First up, you need some power. I've got three volts here supplied by two 1.5 volt batteries. And that feeds into a pretty simple circuit. The first component is a 10 pence resistor. It stops the circuit from getting overloaded. And over here, I've got a 10 pence transistor. Its job is to amplify the delicate signals I'm getting from the skin. Now we come to a 5 pence LED or light emitting diode. As your skin sweats, the more current gets through and the brighter it glows. But it's quite hard to see. And so for a really accurate readout, I need to step outside my one pound budget uh, and spend a further £2.50, that's all, on this thing, a multimeter, as used by electricians. The skin completes the circuit, and I'm using the pads you get with those electrical toning devices favoured by slimmers and my mum. At rest, my unstressed reading is 2.89. And to prove to you that it works, I'll just get a bit of sweat on. I was amazed by the sensitivity. It detected the minute changes in skin moisture immediately. So now we've proved the technology works, it's a case of miniaturising it and testing it. Hi, Annie. Hi there. Jason, how you doing? Come on in. Oh, Our volunteer, Annie, will face five questions. Is this what Trisha does? Something similar. Remember, if the numbers go up, she's lying. Do you like all of the people that you work with? Yeah. Are they rude ever? No. Do you think you could do their job better than they could, some of them? No. Annie, have you ever stolen anything? No. Have you ever intentionally lied to your mother? No, never. You've never lied to your mother? <laughs> no. Finally, the truth. I reckon my homemade lie detector worked a treat. But like polygraphs, it suffers from flaws. It can't distinguish between the cognitive stress of a lie and the emotional stress of being put in a high pressure situation, like a lie detector test. And it can be fooled, employ certain techniques and confusing signals get sent out, which help mask the lie. Things like doing complicated maths in your head, clenching your buttocks, self-inducing pain like stepping on a pin, using antiperspirant to stop the sweat, <laughs> or just relaxing. That's what the KGB told their guys to do. The potential solution is to detect lies without the subject even knowing. That's where voice stress analyzers come in. It's rumored that certain insurance companies are using technology similar to this. So if you've rung up with a claim in the last few months, it's quite possible you were voice stress analyzed and didn't even know it. If you'd like a lie detector, there are several voice analyzers on the market, starting from as little as 15 pounds. But for that sort of money, well, can they really be any good? Gotcha. I'm a very good looking man. My ears do not stick out. No, my name is not Jason Bradbury. Yes, I love my girlfriend. No, the number I wrote down is not number two. Two. Frankly, our tests showed them up to be pretty hopeless. And that's the truth. They claimed I was lying when I said nothing, 
said I was fibbing when I wasn't and didn't even seem that sure about this guy. I did not have sexual relations with that woman, Miss Lewinsky. However, we hear that incredibly sophisticated thermal imaging devices are being developed for use in airports, amongst other places. Believe it or not, the next time you board, you may well have to answer the question, are you going to hijack this aeroplane? But perhaps the most unnerving application of lie detectors is a lot closer to home. Once perfected, voice stress analyzers could easily be integrated into a mobile phone. And imagine how scary that could be. Hi. Hi, darling. Yeah, it's me. Oh, you're working late, yeah? Yeah? Oh, really? Because that's not what it says on my phone, yeah? Pumpkin. <laughs>